The same old problem, football club in financial trouble. Swindon Town are laying off 14 office staff to try to save money and reconstructing their whole business to save themselves from eternal relegation. The name of the game is risk. And the thin line between success and failure can be measured by the thickness of a goalpost. So it really is a matter of bringing to an end Swindon Town Football Club as we know it today and change it in size, character and direction. This is, it, is our only means of survival. What a way to start a new year, let alone a new century. But Swindon Town are facing up to the future. They're losing £25,000 a week. They can't afford to keep going that way. They can't afford to chase the big clubs, so they're going back to basics. They're bringing in cost-cutting plans, hopefully some new investment, and a new chief executive in newspaper man Bob Holt. I'm going to be supplying the, the, the funds, managing the club's funds as efficiently and as effectively as possible to ensure that we can uh, utilise those funds uh, effectively. So if we go down to the second division, if, for God forbid, we go down, we have the money and resources to maintain football in Swindon and then return to the first. Town have raised £200,000 this Christmas by selling two first-teamers, Ty Gooden and Ify Anora, to Gillingham. And they're prepared to shake football to its roots by standing up to big wage demands from players. I think players are, are becoming wise that uh, they can't make the demands that they used to uh, because there is a lot of players on the list at the end of each season. Uh, so they've, they've got to you know, be realistic. And, and uh, as I said, players, if they come in here and they're going to want to play for Swindon Town, they've got to come on our terms. So Town admit they can't afford to chase promotion. What will the fans make of that? What's the future? Is there a future? I'm a dreamer, and um, uh, you know, and and if we if we don't dream, you know, um, uh, about um, uh, the, the glory days coming back to Swindon, then we might as well give up. No, I, I will still maintain that that dream, but um, I think what we've got to do is is get our club financially prepared for the downsides. So much for the bad news. Now for the really bad news. Swindon, along with Oxford and Cheltenham, all kicked off Y2K with three defeats, no points. Swindon Town's New Year's resolution is to beat relegation and stay in the first division, but they're already in danger of breaking it. They're four points adrift at the bottom after losing at home to Queen's Park Rangers. And it was the same old story. The Reds had the chances to win. They certainly had the chance.